Are you constantly dealing with a narcissist and feeling like you're losing control? Do you find yourself walking on eggshells, unsure of how to handle their manipulation tactics? Well, what if I told you that there are ways to turn the tables and actually gain the upper hand? In this video, we'll uncover five powerful strategies that can help you manipulate a narcissist on your terms. Whether you're dealing with a narcissistic partner, boss, or family member, these tactics are designed to protect your boundaries, regain your power, and break free from their toxic grip. Stay tuned, because this could change the way you navigate narcissistic relationships forever. Before we dive into these powerful strategies, I want to hear from you. Have you ever found yourself in a situation with a narcissist that left you feeling powerless or frustrated? Or maybe you've tried some tactics but nothing seems to work. Drop your experiences or questions in the comments below. Let's get a conversation started. And if you're serious about taking control in these challenging relationships, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on more insights to protect yourself from narcissistic manipulation. Let's dive in. Way number one. Use their ego to your advantage is one of the most powerful ways to manipulate a narcissist as they are driven by a deep need for validation and admiration. Narcissists have an inflated sense of self-worth and they constantly seek praise to reinforce their grandiose view of themselves. Understanding this need is key by giving them the right amount of flattery, you can steer their behavior to align with your goals and complement their intelligence, appearance or achievements in a way that makes them feel superior. When their ego is stroked, they are more likely to engage with you positively and do things in your favor, because in their mind, helping you will make them look even better. This creates an opening where you can subtly influence their decisions or actions. However, it's important to be strategic with your flattery. Overdoing it or coming across as insincere can trigger their suspicion, as they may sense manipulation if the praise doesn't seem genuine. To keep it effective, compliment them in a way that feels natural and specific to their personality or achievements. By offering praise in moderation, you keep them hooked, and they'll start associating you with their sense of superiority. This dynamic gives you leverage once they're drawn into your orbit by their own inflated ego. You can guide them toward your desired outcome, making them feel like they are in control while subtly getting them to act in your best interest. Way number two. The Grey Rock Method is a powerful tactic for dealing with narcissists and it works by turning yourself into a neutral, emotionally uninteresting rock in their world of drama and attention-seeking behavior. Narcissists thrive on emotional reactions they want to provoke, control and manipulate others by triggering strong feelings. By becoming emotionally unavailable, you essentially remove the fuel that feeds their behavior. When you stop reacting emotionally, showing distress, or giving them the satisfaction of a dramatic interaction, the narcissist is left with nothing to work with. They lose interest in trying to manipulate or provoke you because there's no payoff. Instead of feeding their need for validation or control, you become an empty emotional vessel, leaving them craving more without ever being able to get it. What makes the Grey Rock Method so effective is that it disrupts the narcissist's usual power dynamic. They thrive on attention, admiration or conflict, and when you don't engage, they have no control over you. And it frustrates them, but they may not know how to break through your indifference. This technique is particularly useful when you have to maintain minimal contact with a narcissist, such as in a workplace or family setting. By remaining emotionally neutral and non-reactive, you signal that you are not an easy target for their manipulation, and over time, they may move on to someone else who offers more emotional fuel. The result is a safer, less stressful environment for you, while the narcissist is left powerless to influence you. Way number three. Setting boundaries and being consistent is one of the most powerful ways to manipulate a narcissist 
because it disrupts their ability to control and exploit you. Narcissists often test limits, push boundaries and have little regard for others' personal space or emotional needs. However, when you establish clear, firm boundaries and consistently enforce them, you show the narcissist that you won't tolerate their manipulative behavior. This can be anything from limiting the time you spend with them, refusing to tolerate disrespect, or making it clear that certain behaviors like gaslighting or emotional manipulation will not be accepted. Setting these limits puts you back in control and demonstrates that their usual tactics won't work on you, forcing them to reassess their approach. The key to making this strategy work is consistency. Narcissists will test you repeatedly to see if you'll break, so if you allow even one boundary to be crossed, they will perceive it as a sign of weakness and continue pushing. By standing firm, no matter how much pressure they apply, you make it clear that you are not easily manipulated. Over time, they will begin to recognize that you are not a source of supply they can easily exploit, which can lead them to either back off or attempt to find someone else to manipulate. Staying consistent in your boundaries doesn't just protect you, it also shifts the power dynamic, showing the narcissist that you are the one in control. Number 4. Going no contact with a narcissist is one of the most effective, yet often most challenging, strategies to regain control over your life and protect your emotional well-being. Narcissists thrive on emotional supply attention, validation and drama, and when you remove yourself completely from the equation, you stop feeding their need for control. Going no contact means cutting all communication, whether through phone calls, texts, social media, or in-person interactions. By severing ties, you force the narcissist to find someone else to manipulate, leaving you free from their toxic influence. This radical move prevents them from continuing their emotional abuse or manipulation and gives you the space needed to heal and reclaim your power. The reason no contact is so effective is that narcissists cannot stand being ignored or dismissed as it cuts off their sense of superiority and control. If you've exhausted other tactics like setting boundaries or using the grey rock method, no contact serves as a final line of defense. It's not just about avoiding confrontation, it's about taking back your life. Although it can be difficult, especially if the narcissist is a family member or partner, this method forces them to lose their grip over you and shows them that their behavior no longer has the power to affect you. The result is freedom from their toxic cycle, and it's often the only way to ensure long-term emotional peace and protection from narcissistic manipulation. Number five. Using narcissistic supply as leverage is a subtle yet powerful strategy to manipulate a narcissist and regain control in your interactions. Narcissists are constantly in search of validation, admiration, and attention what psychologists call narcissistic supply. This need drives much of their behavior from their overinflated sense of self to their manipulative tactics. By understanding what kind of supply they crave, you can strategically offer them just enough validation to keep them engaged, while using it to direct their actions or decisions. For example, if you need something from them, whether it's a favor, compliance, or cooperation offering small doses of praise or acknowledgement can make them more likely to grant your request. You're essentially using their need for validation as a tool to get what you want, while they remain focused on feeding their ego. The key to using narcissistic supply as leverage is moderation. Too much admiration, and the narcissist will take over the situation, possibly manipulating you in return. Too little, and they'll lose interest or become uncooperative. The goal is to offer just enough recognition to make them feel superior, but not so much that they become overly demanding or manipulative. By carefully controlling the amount of attention and praise you give, you can steer the narcissist toward your desired outcome while keeping them satisfied. This approach turns their ego-driven need for admiration into a powerful tool for your own benefit, 
creating a dynamic where you control the flow of attention and use it to influence their behavior in subtle, effective ways. Now that you know these five powerful ways to manipulate a narcissist, it's time to take control and protect your peace. Remember, the goal isn't to become like them, but to regain your power and stop being manipulated. So which of these strategies are you going to try first? Or maybe you've already used some of them. Drop your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share it with anyone who might need these insights. You deserve to break free from toxic relationships, and I'm here to help you every step of the way. Stay strong, and I'll see you in the next video.